I welcome the opportunity to address this issue which is causing no end of hardship, stress, worry and anxiety to many thousands of our citizens. The problem is that we have are not on, in, only in the boardrooms of banks, but they're also in the living rooms of ordinary people. And that's an aspect of this whole crisis that we're in that hasn't sufficiently been focused on. It's a particularly difficult thing to lose one's job, and there are no shortage of people in our country who can attest to this. However, to lose one's house and home is far more serious, more difficult and more disruptive to a family's life. In Ireland, for historical reasons, there's a particular deep attachment to one's home, and this can be witnessed in the economic statistics, which consistently show we have a very high rate of home ownership uh, in, the, in this country, higher than almost any other EU country. For similar historical reasons, the idea or threat of eviction from one's home is a deeply disturbing notion. Indeed, if home repossessions were to become widespread in the coming years, I'd shudder to think of the social consequences. However, I've no doubt that this government will, will not allow such a scenario to come to pass. I'm delighted to say that the government is committed to helping those in difficulties with mortgages through increasing the amount of relief available through the Mortgage Interest Supplement Scheme and the widening availability of crucial help provided by MABS. I particularly uh, welcome the revised Code of Conduct for Mortgage Arrears, which came into, the effect, uh, into effect on the 1st of January and footed the recommendations of the expert group and are a very important means of helping all residential mortgage holders. I have become aware of several cases of hard-pressed constituents who, to, who, who took out what uh, are best described as subprime loans and have been har harassed by companies who are involved in sharp practice. For that reason, I particularly welcome the provision that a mortgage arrears resolution process must be initiated by, establish, uh, by established by lenders uh, with, when dealing with customers in arrears and the obligation on lenders to set up an arrears support unit. These measures will no doubt save many of our citizens from anxiety and anguish, anguish which they will otherwise endure. Deputy, a half minute. Okay, thank you. I'll just finish on this point then. It's the psychological effects, the stress, the worry, the sleepless nights which so many people are going through. Anything that we can do to alleviate that anguish is something that we must do and I appreciate the government's efforts in this regard. Thank you.